You're probably wondering to yourself, Sean, how the hell did you get that awesome video? Well, thank you for asking. Today I'm going to show you how I set up, shot, and edited that little video that you just saw. Let's do this. Okay, let's start with the easy part. Like I said, that whole video only had one camera movement in it, and this is it. So I, all I did was I put my camera on a tripod, I put my tripod on this piece of cardboard, that way I could slide it smoothly against the table, back and forth like this, that way I could get that panning movement. I did that about 10 to 20 times before I got a shot that I was happy with, and that was it. Let's talk about the subject for a second. So all I did was I took my beer can, I would clean it off with this microfiber rag so it didn't have any fingerprints or smudges on it. Then I just took the squirt bottle and literally just squirted it a couple times with that. So that way it had this nice refreshing cold appearance to it. Okay, so there's two main parts to the setup of this. One being the mirror and two being the background. The background I knew I wanted to be completely black, like abysmally black. So the way I did that was I put a sheet on the back wall of my apartment here, and then I just put clamps at each corner to try to pull out any of the wrinkles that were in it. That did an okay job for the most part, but when I turned on the ring light here, which was lighting the scene, it was spilling onto the background, so it was lighting it up and being a lot brighter than I wanted it to be. So during the shoot, I realized that and I didn't have anything else, so all I did was I taped this paper bag to the ring light so that it would direct the light right on the scene and not on the background. Okay, last part of the setup, the mirror. The mirror is what gave the beer cans that Stranger Things ghostly vibe. Pretty straightforward, it's a mirror, it reflects things. Uh, it worked pretty well, except for all along the edges of the mirror, there's this like white silver line that you can actually see in the camera. And I didn't want that showing up in the background. I definitely didn't want to try to hide it in post. So what I did was I took a roll of black electric tape and just put a strip all along the back edge here. And that ended up blending right into the background and you couldn't see it at all. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up the setup. Now let's go into the post-production. Okay, so we just wrapped up all the setup and the shooting. Now we're coming over to post or post-production. First thing I do is I open up Premiere Pro. I already have my footage loaded. Um, this is the project file for the video you just saw. Over here is where I compile all of the footage, all the videos, the logos, the sounds, everything that you see in the video all goes over here. Then I'll take all of these things and I'll start to build out what is called the timeline over here. So it's just the entire video. Okay, so there's a lot of things I could talk about in here, but I'm gonna focus on a select few. So one of the first things I wanna mention is that the video itself, because it was handheld, had to be manually adjusted. So you see how that M kind of stays exactly at the center line? Every couple frames, what I would have to do is I would have to bring it left, bring it right, bring it left, bring it right, so that it would stay on center. Because this is just one clip, really, I had to rely heavily on sound design and also on the effects that I put over top. So if I did all those effects without sound, it would just feel wrong. You might not even think about it, but the point of the sound design is that the video makes sense and you don't even notice. All the sounds, they just kind of hit that like subconscious part of your brain, and then you just kind of you know what it's supposed to sound like without actually having to think about it. So you can see here, these are all the layers of sound that went into this video. So here you can see this is like the electric glitch noise. And then this clip right here is called a riser. So throughout that whole clip, you'll notice that the sound kind of gets louder and louder and louder slowly over the whole, whole video. So I did the same thing by manually increasing the sound of that electric glitch. Throughout the whole video, you can kind of hear this faint, like howling wind noise. So I put that in the background so that even when there was no glitching noise or no riser, you would hear this like eerie, creepy kind of howling wind. And the same thing goes here for the uh, electric motor. So 
the whole thing is the beer is called Go Kart Ghost, right? Go Kart. So it kind of starts with this engine sputtering, pu -pu 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 -pu, and then it kind of starts, but it, it kind of, it never sounds right throughout the whole video. So it kind of sounds like this old go kart that's just like barely hanging on. So, like I said, that the video would sound very weird without any sound at all. So, I want you to just watch the video that I'm about to play, and then it's not gonna have any sound, and you just see how it doesn't, it doesn't hit as well as the video that does with sound. I think that was pretty obvious, right? It, that just sounded off. It, that's what really sells the video is that sound design mixed with those effects over top. So there's a lot of other things that I did throughout the video, those shaky effects, um, the color grading, but that's all stuff that we can talk about another time. I know some of the things I did in this video might seem a little janky, but that's kind of the fun right now is I'm just trying to figure out how to get the shots that I want with what I have. Would it be way easier to use fancy equipment? Yes, of course. And will I continue to buy more equipment and get fancier stuff to make easier videos? Yeah, I'll be doing that too. But right now, part of the fun and part of the challenge is working with what I got. And if anybody ever tells you that gear really matters, then just show them the part of the video where I taped the paper bag to a ring light. That's it for this one. I hope you found it fun or entertaining or informative or whatever you're trying to get out of these videos because right now I'm just documenting my journey and I'm hoping that you guys enjoy the ride. And since this is a YouTube video, thanks. See ya. Sean, how the hell did you shoot that awesome video that I just saw? No, back. <clears throat> Stop recording. I taped this paper bag because it was light and you can't see through it. That was dumb. Grab a little squirt bottle and squirt, 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 squirt. <laughs> That's weird. Put it all along the back edge here. Motorcycles. Okay, so the last part of the video. Nah, it's not the last part of the video.